day 94, in the Kharkiv region, the Russians conducted a major attack from the north. Today, the Russian forces shelled Zolochev, Derhachi, Ternova, Kharkiv, and a lot of villages that are on the front line. After that, a series of fights broke out to the north of Kharkiv. One of the major fights took place in the small villages to the north of Slatene. Here, the Russians tried to push the front line further south and get closer to the town of Derhachi. Another major fight took place between Slatene and Lipci. Here, the Ukrainian forces defended the villages that are located in the Grey Zone and maintained control over an important road. Overall, given that the Russians continue to increase the intensity of their attacks from the air, the Ukrainian forces should anticipate a big counterattack from the north in the following week. In the northeast, the Russians switched to attacking in the Svetohirsk direction. After the town of Leman fell in the hands of the Russians, the intensity of the fights has relatively decreased in this part of the region. The fights are happening to the southwest of Leman and serve as a cover for the Ukrainian retreat. The Ukrainians here almost got to their next major defense line. In the Svetohirsk direction, the intensity of the fights is increasing. Today the Russians bombed the town of Svetohirsk and the village of Bohorodichne, which they started to storm yesterday in order to get closer to Svetohirsk. So far, the Ukrainians are holding off the enemy. The Russians also assaulted and bombed several villages to the northwest of Svetohirsk, but the results are unknown yet. Finally, the village Dovhenke was again under attack, however, only from the air. After taking the village back from the Russians, the Ukrainians continued to hold this area. In the east, the Russians continued to push the Ukrainian defense lines. In Severodonetsk, the fights are taking place inside the town. The Russians managed to establish control over the eastern suburbs and are trying to push the Ukrainians further to the central part. The town of Borivske and the village of Toshkivka were again assaulted from the east. However, no changes have been confirmed. The same concerns Ustinivka, Zolote and Kamushovaha. The fights are taking place, but the front line did not shift. When it comes to the Bakhmut direction, the Russians managed to expand the territory under their control even further. Today the Russians have moved north from the village of Bilohorivka and assaulted the village of Nahirne that is located between Bilohorivka and Berestove. When it comes to the town of Pokrovsk, the Russians got closer to the northern part of the town and, according to some sources, entered the suburbs of the southern part of the town. But no heavy clashes have been reported yet. In the southeast, things were relatively stable today. The New York and Avdivka directions did not suffer any major assaults. In Piskin Krasnohorivka, things were relatively quiet as well. Only in Marinka and Novomikhailivka, the Ukrainian forces were attacked from the air. The lack of action is rather unusual and seems to be the quiet before the storm especially given that the Russians have been shelling their main line of attack very heavily in the last few days. In the south, the Ukrainians conducted a counterattack near the town of Pelikanovosilka. Because this town is a major Ukrainian stronghold, the Russians were trying to gain as much ground as possible around this town and to take it in circle. Today the Ukrainians attacked the Russians from the west and pushed them a little bit back. As a result of this operation, the Ukrainians managed to take two villages back under their control. In the second southern direction, apart from shelling in the Mykolaiv and Kruvirich directions, things were relatively quiet. According to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, by the end of the 94th day of the war, the Russians had lost 201 airplanes, 174 helicopters, 1,330 tanks, 3,258 armored fighting vehicles and 30,000 soldiers. I will continue to make daily updates on the situation, so stay tuned.